1 Kings chapter 17 is this, well, powerful, amazing story about Elijah the prophet being raised up by God to do something that's phenomenal. He, he calls for a drought. And what he's doing is he's coming against King Ahab, one of the most wicked kings that Israel's ever had. So he tells him it's not going to rain until the Lord says so. And the reason he does this is because there's this God that Ahab has begun to worship called Baal. And he's the God of, well, the sky, the rain. And this is to show that his God cannot create what they need to survive. Only the one true God can. So it stops raining and there's a drought in the land. And God sends Elijah to a very specific place. Listen to the verses here in chapter 17. As the Lord directs him, the word of the Lord came to him and said, Get away from here, turn eastward, and hide by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan. And it will be that you shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you. So because of his obedience, because of his trusting the Lord, he does this. He goes to the brook, he gets fed by the ravens, God supplies water, but then the water dries up. And he goes to this widow who has just enough bread, really, and just enough water for her and her son. But Elijah convinces her to feed him, and she does. But then her son gets sick, and he dies. And here's what happens at the end of the story. The son dies. The Lord heard the voice of Elijah, and the soul of the child came back to him. He, he prays for this child. In fact, the whole story is, is amazing. Elijah cries out to the Lord and says, Lord, my God, you also brought tragedy on the widow whom I lodged by killing her son. And he stretched himself out on the child three times and cried out to the Lord. And Elijah took the child and brought him down from the upper room where he had prayed for him and gave him to his mother. The son lives, it says. Then the woman said to Elijah, now by this, I know that you're a man of God and that the word of the Lord is in your mouth and is truth. There's a lot in this chapter 17. There's God showing his strength over Baal. There's God having a man that'll trust him enough to do what he's called him to do. And then there's God raising one from the dead. In, in 1 Kings chapter 17, there, there's three things that God shows himself to be. A God over need, lack, they don't have food, they don't have water. A God who is over false gods, over Baal, he can stop the rain, Baal can't make it rain. And a God who is over death, he heals his son and brings him back to life. And here's the thing, in your life and in my life, God is a God who's over all false gods. He is a God who supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory. And he's a God over all death. He raised his son from the dead. And one day we will all live with him forever.